China continues to develop the jet of the future, maybe retiring Lockheed Martin's future aircraft, the hypersonic SR-72, in order to conquer its allies, not wanting to fall behind in terms of capability. China has made public this unstoppable hypersonic weapon as a severe warning to those nations wishing to take China on. The testing of China's covert hypersonic space weapons even alarmed neighboring nations. The US itself has to strengthen its security, and ties with other nations appear to be intensifying. Following a terrifying revelation of a covert Chinese hypersonic space weapons test, an official denial by the Chinese government, and a public statement from the US Air Force chief that was incredibly ambiguous, security observers have been left with more questions than answers this week regarding the nature of the object that may have circled the planet a few weeks ago, and the potential threat it poses to US security. It has also raised more significant concerns regarding the state of strategic nuclear stability, although that intricate matter is worthy of a separate article. For the time being, a number of analysts stated that the lack of accurate information regarding the test appears to be fostering the rising trend inside US national security circles of seeing Beijing's actions through a worst-case perspective, which may be of the biggest concern going forward for US-China relations. A few issues with the theory of space-based hypersonic weapons. The absence of knowledge, particularly in the unclassified sector, contributes to these assumptions. However, other experts expressed their skepticism based on what is now accepted. Accessible. Harrison speculated that the test might have involved a FOB system rather than a hypersonic glide vehicle. Rather, he asserted, there was probably a misunderstanding. The US military clearly followed the course of this mission that China was initiating, and it was unexpected, Harrison stated. After the fact, when they were attempting to make sense of it, I'll wager that somewhere along the line, either policymakers who were briefed by the intel analysts 